What's up guys, today in this video we're going to be going over my leveling guide for the Bone Necromancer for Season 1. Let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to cover are the Caged Hearts. And there's plenty of combinations and I've chosen a few for leveling and end game. But for leveling, the first heart that I've chosen is the Caged Heart of the Decrepit Aura. And what it does is once enough mobs get around you, it'll pop a Decrepify Aura around you. And it basically allows you to face tank, as you can see in this clip with the Butcher. Okay, so the second heart that I've chosen is called the Caged Heart of the Malignant Pack. And what it does, it has three effects, and they cycle through every 20 kills. So you kill 20, it changes, kill 20, it changes, so on. So the first one that I wanted to go over is the Barrier. And as you can see here, it just cycles over and over throughout its phase. It goes away, it comes back, which offers us a lot of damage reduction. The next part of the heart I wanted to go over is the Devious Effect. And what it does, it gives us a lucky hit chance to fully restore a full bar of our primary resource. It's huge. It just allows us to spam Bone Spear, as you can see in this clip. And then the last part of the heart is Vicious, and basically all it does is give us a lot of attack speed, which is really nice to get back resources, spam bone spheres, you know, do our thing. Next will be the aspects and where I think you should put them. So for the helm, we should probably try to get Deathless Visage, and it's okay if you can't get it, um, there is alternatives. So we can also put the aspect of the protector on there, and that will do you just fine. So for our chest piece, we're going to be running Might. For our gloves, we're going to be running serration. For our legs, we're going to be running disobedience. For our boots, we're going to run wind striker. For our two-handed weapon, which is going to be a sword, we're going to run splintering. On our neck, we're going to run grasping veins. And on our rings, we're going to have four choices for you. Sacrificial, exposed flesh, intercom, or umbrella. Okay, next we'll be getting into skills, paragon, and sacrifices. Alright, so that's the leveling guide for the Bone Spear Necromancer. I am going to be putting out an in game build once I achieve the level. And as usual, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.